What is one suggestion from a bipartisan leadership forum that you could give to start an empathetic conversation on hot topics? I respect your ability to have conversations and respectful discourse with people who may not have your same values. Thank you for being a, a bridge builder. So the beginning of that question, Lauren, was specifically? Yeah, I can repeat that. Um, what is uh, one suggestion that you might have basically to start an empathetic conversation on hot topics? Well, we have a great, you know, Martine Carcassonne with the Center for Public Deliberation, and that's amazing. Uh, I was on a call with the League of Women Voters the other day talking about um, some concrete ideas I had at the Capitol, which I've never been able to convince our leadership to do. Um, and, you know, they seem silly, but when we separate ourselves, we don't understand each other. So I always advocate that we sit, and why do we sit the Republicans here and the Democrats here? Well, I sit on the Republican side because I just think that's healthy. Uh, but, you know, you could go every other chair, Democrat, Republican, Democrat, Republican, and some legislatures do. And so they're starting a whole new thing called change your chair. <laughs> and that's legislative specific. I also have this crazy notion at the Capitol, we should have a common lunchroom uh, with board games and stuff. And uh, no, that was not, no, couldn't do that. So there's some, I'm just, my point is there's some just, I don't know concretely at the city right now, but there's some just really basic things we do to block out people who think differently. And those are things, I've also thought too at the Capitol, the chair of each committee should be the purview of the majority party because that reflects the will of the voters. But why isn't the vice chair the minority party? They don't have, the majority party will always dominate and should because that's what the voters said. Well, why isn't the minority party the vice chair? Other, again, some legislators, legislatures do that, but Tennessee doesn't. Um, so with the city, let's just bring home those ideas. I mean, anytime we see ourselves separating ourselves, anytime we see ourselves siloing or always sitting with someone you know you agree with, um, don't do that. I sit next to Hugh McKean at the Capitol, the Republican from Loveland, the minority leader. And he always introduces me. I like Jenny, I just can't believe she's wrong all the time. And um, I feel the same way about him, completely terrible, wrong, bad policy. And you know, we love each other and we talk, which is, it's fun um, and it's okay. And those, that's what makes things strong, right? Sometimes he has a good idea too.